Hello gents. Welcome to Nishan CAD CAM online tutorials. In this video I am going to show you how to add weld bead to weldment structure in SolidWorks. I'll be using this table frame that I created in my previous tutorial to demonstrate the tool. Watch that video to see how it is created. Let's get started and stay tuned. You can find weld bead command under weldman command manager. Click on weldman tab then select weld bead. Weld bead property manager is launched. There are two main weld selection options. One is weld geometry, the other one is weld path. When you select weld geometry, you have different tools. You have a smart weld selection tool and when you click on a surface and uh, it will go to the first box when you click on the surface of the second body it will go to the next selection box and then you can see few other tools you can click on tangent propagation to have the weld propagated around the tangent point tangent curves and there are three uh, radio buttons to manipulate the selection I will right click and clear selection right click and clear selection and when you click on weld path option you have only one selection box uh, where you can add edges or sketches to define the path let's use both in this frame to see how they are how they actually work I will I will use weld geometry option first and under this selection box we can select faces or edges from part 1 or body 1 and from second selection to this selection box we can select faces or edges from part 2 or body 2 second part this is the part 1 part 2 or if it is an assembly there are two parts you can create you can define weld bead only between two parts or two bodies you cannot define the weld path between three or more bodies uh, let's uh, try to add weld bead to these mitre joints i will add weld to side and top only i will not be adding the weld to bottom so to do that I will we can use a smart weld selection tool I will show you how to use it we can click on the tool and we can drag over the surfaces that you want to add under the first selection box so four surfaces are selected and drag over this surface as well now five surfaces are selected and when you start selecting the other surfaces they will automatically add to the next selection box drag your pointer over these surfaces four surfaces are selected and drag this surface so now the welding weld preview is appearing on two sides and top preview looks good and let's create the weld in the other other joint you can continue use continue to use this smart weld selection tool when you when you start selecting the surfaces for the next weld weld new weld path is added automatically let's see what will happen when i drag over this so weld path 2 is added so I will drag over these surfaces to select all of them and next I will select all these surfaces by dragging smart weld selection tool over each surface. So now you can see the preview. Now let's uh, not use smart weld selection tool and let's try to select surfaces manually so in, in when we are not using weld smart weld selection tool we have to add new weld path manually now we are in weld path 3 to define the third weld at mitre joints 
select this surface this surface this surface and these two surfaces and when you start selecting other two other surfaces it will add it will be added to the other selection box so this is how we can use uh, we can do manual uh, weld path defining without using smart weld selection tool now we have defined three weld and I am going to add another weld path to this miter joint click on new weld path in this case now I am going to use weld path option instead of weld geometry option when you click on weld path option there is only one selection box you can only select edges or sketches now we will have we will have to select these edges manually when we have when we are using weld path option now you can see the preview looks good the result is very is exactly similar from weld geometry or weld path and now let's uh, change the uh, radius the size of the fillet I will change it to 4 millimeter and click on weld path 3 and change the radius to 4 millimeter and click on weld path 2 when you click on each weld path you can see the path is highlighted in pink pink means it is active yellow means it is inactive and now you can change the parameters to 4 millimeter and select weld path 1 change the parameters to size of the weld to 4 millimeter all right now we have defined four weld paths let's add another new weld path at this joint click on new weld path now if you are using weld geometry option we can use a smart weld selection tool I will drag these two surfaces or these two surfaces now you can see the faces are added to the selection box and the preview is displayed so when we are using weld geometry we have these three options click on this tangent of our propagation you can see the preview is weld path is already generated so let's do the same thing to the other side since we are using smart weld selection tool we do not have to add manual weld path just drag on these two surfaces since tangent propagation is selected the weld is already created we can do this same thing to every every other joints it is very quick and easy way of adding weld beads using smart weld selection tool for this type of structure and drag these two surfaces and same thing over here as well now we have added weld beads we have welded almost every joint now we have few more joints to weld we have to weld this uh, leg to the frame drag these two surfaces and similarly now we have selected tangent propagation so this part belongs to only this area so this weld is added now I will drag over these two surfaces you can see the preview the welded is created all around do the same thing between these two surfaces drag between these two surfaces and again drag between these two surfaces same thing over here drag between these two surfaces and drag between these two surfaces repeat the same thing to this final leg also here we go now we have fully welded the frame Finally, I will show you how to weld uh, 
how to add how to weld a letter or number on the frame there are situation we will we are doing this type of welding to represent to identify the part so i have created an sketch with number 7 so we can weld numbers or sketch numbers or letters only using weld path option so now we are in geometry weld geometry option I will add new weld path and click on weld path option to modify this weld path 21 we haven't defined defined with anything so over here when you hover your mouse over the selection box you can see select edges sketches to create the weld bit go ahead and select I will go ahead and select this sketch now you can see the preview of the weld well, this added already for with four millimeter radius. Now all the preview looks go, good, and you can actually modify each and every uh, weld path by selecting each weld path and changing these parameters under settings. You can change the radius. You can play around with these selection boxes with radio buttons and you can uh, use this tangent propagation where necessary and you can change uh, the radius so now the preview looks good and click ok if you cannot see the uh, preview of the weld bead make sure you expand this icon and weld bead is selected and also if you want to see these annotations and make sure you expand this option and this view top level annotation is selected now we have selected both top level annotation and weld bit you can see the preview the welded belt is created and frame is fully welded and we have add label it as number seven press ctrl seven and save the part I hope by now you know how to add weld bead to weldman structure and also we know that using the smart selection tool is the best best and quickest way to add weld beads. If you found this video useful please like hit like subscribe this channel to receive similar video updates. Thank you for watching.